that may arise. That could ring around thing, but that won't matter. Okay. Um, we'll draw it up that. Just before, sorry, yeah. sorry, I am on yard duty, but I know it's ages away anyway, so it's not till, don't need to leave till 20 past 10, so I know that's loads. Perfect. Oh, just, yeah, we'll be well done. Yeah, so just thanks to let me know that. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, okay. What am I doing? Okay, Maeve, thanks so much for agreeing to be part of the study. I, I'm really, really grateful. Um, so Maeve, would you mind telling me a bit about your career to date and maybe your motivations to work in this school in yeah. particular? So um, I graduated in 2012 from Mary I in Limerick and um, I did a BA and after that I worked for a little while at home in County Galway, mostly in Catholic um, primary schools. And then I decided to come to Dublin in 2014 and I got a job here in Skull Column. Um, at the time, I didn't really know very much about CNSs or about Skull Cullum in general. Um, it was a total new and fresh start. You know, in, as part of the BED, we didn't get much information on um, community national schools. It was mostly focused on teaching in like a Catholic right. um, school. So, um, you know, it was all very new. And I started here and I've worked here now for the last almost eight years. And yeah. uh, I taught first class, third class, fifth class, and now I'm in sixth class. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, and did anything in particular, like was Skull Column, like most people I've interviewed so far, to answer, uh, I've just been around to other people who've worked in the model, and uh, it was a like for me, it was a, as I told you, it was kind of I got a permanent job. Yeah. I, I didn't, I got interested in it after arriving, but I wasn't necessarily seeking out a multi school. Were you? Or? Yeah, similar to you. No, yeah. I wasn't. Like, I came up, um, I just wanted a job at the time. Yeah. I wanted to live in Dublin, and I was lucky enough to get an interview here. I do remember coming for the interview and thinking, you know the place was you know very new very fresh you know very welcoming all of that um but i was just happy to get a job and then yeah. after that then the multi d side of it kind of came into it very good um and as i said it just because college we just didn't it wasn't really mentioned at the time um yeah. multi -D teaching at all yeah yeah so it's because it, and i was the same i came from well, i'm from knock um i went to St. Louis, a community school which is very catholic yeah. st pat's so then I, and I taught in a Catholic school as well, so it just, and it was diverse, I deserved it, but I had no real appreciation for it, I think, exactly. until I came to the CNS exactly, model, yeah. you know, so, yeah. but anyway, so look, it's interesting, so I think, I'm not sure if you agree, but what is supposed to differentiate one school type from another, like Catholic school that we would have worked in to, the, to this school type, a community national school, to an educate together school, is its ethos. Mm -hmm. Would you, do you think that that's a pain? I agree. I do agree. I do think that, you know, in primary schools, like a lot of the ethoses would be similar in that, you know, everybody is welcome, everybody is respected, everybody is treated with, you know, dignity and respect and all yeah. of that. But at the end of the day, the ethos of the community national school is that we accept everybody, you know, children of all faiths and non secular beliefs, religious beliefs, all types of backgrounds. Whereas I do think in, you know, denominational schools, they're a little bit more segregated in that, that they, you know, their teaching and everything, it's, it's centres around, I suppose, the, the faith programme of the school. Whereas here, you know, it's all very broad so that all the children feel that they're included and, you know, that their needs are being met as well in yeah. an equal way. And did you feel, had, you know, in the schools that you taught in that were Catholic, was there any diversity in those schools? Did you ever know? No. Very little. It was rural County Galway. Right. So, so it was appropriate the ethos. It matched. was appropriate. Um, there were a couple, but, you know, there very few children that weren't part of the Catholic right. religion at the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And may that term ethos, like, we talk about it just quite a bit, but what does it mean, Anthony? Like, what does it mean to you? Or what's your understanding of it? Um, I suppose to me it means, like, the spirit of the school and, you know, the feeling you get when you walk into the school. I mentioned, you know, when I came for an interview, how... I did feel very welcome and you know everybody was very friendly and I could see the diversity you know as I looked around and I just felt that it was a very welcoming place yeah. and I think that that's the ethos and then that that filters down then through to the teaching and learning as well. Um, uh, is it a purpose is it a, is it just something that just happens or is it something that people have to work on or like is that just a an organic thing or is it something that has to be kind of worked on perhaps a little bit of both um you know that it does obviously buy in from staff um first of all um but i think it does need to be worked on you know through policy and you know through the subjects and it comes of course down from management as well you know yeah. the way management are you know deal with staff and parents and outside school community and i think that filters down then to you know others and how if you are treated in one way you'll treat others in that way as well so Very i do true. think that it is um it, it has to be you know taught as well or you know yeah. throughout the school yeah absolutely absolutely and 
he was spoken a bit about, about so that's ethos being the spirit and, and so on so and the cns one in particular how would you describe it if somebody asked you if your friends are i'm just asking you now like well what is different i teach in a catholic school or i teach in an educated school and this is what they're the ethos is about what would you say is the ethos of the cns um well i suppose first of all in terms of enrollment you know that everybody is accepted there's no stipulations about you know you have to be part of a certain religion or you have yes. a higher chance of getting in if you're in a certain part of a certain religion and um, also that you know we celebrate diversity in the school and everyone is equal and that you know that's made ensured as well that the children understand that but at the same time diversity is seen as something positive and yeah. um that difference is celebrated yeah. and it's you know the children are taught to think that you know um everyone brings something different to the table and to respect that and to value that as well that we can yeah. learn from one another and so how, what's that look like in your classroom maybe all through the like like is there something that you have to do to make that happen um, that well i suppose like when you come into any of the classrooms you suppose straight away you can see the diversity in the room and you know at the start of the year we talk a lot about um respect for one another you know equality all of that and then through day-to-day -day teaching i feel that like in sese and areas like that i'd you know place a lot of emphasis on asking the children for their own experience so right. um you know countries they've been to for studying countries around the world and what their experiences are you know have they been born in other countries do they have family in other countries yeah. all those kinds of things and then of course gmgy then our patron program you know that is so important then and also you know helping us to uh, live out the ethos I suppose in the classroom as well through all the different strands and activities that we do as part of GMGY. Yeah and I'm very interested what you said there around like so like sometimes people get really overwhelmed by the thought of teaching in such a diverse school but now I've become an expert on all these nationalities sorry all yeah. these traditions all these religions but what, what I think what you're saying there um, and I want uh, like is well you're just drawing on Oh, definitely. You know, like it's like I'm from, you know, I'm from rural area in County Galway. I don't really ha know much about the outside world apart from the holidays I've been on and yeah. things like that. So the children, when it comes to teaching about diversity and, you know, um, different places and things like that, it's the children that have the wealth of knowledge because they have the experiences of the countries or the cultures or the religious practices in GMGY or things like that. Yeah. So definitely uh, really important to draw on the children's own experiences for really? that. Sorry, I'm roasting badly. Right. Sorry, it's quite I a jumper. Um, brilliant. So, maybe you've taught in a Catholic school, and you, like, um, I just had a question here around. No, I actually let's have a look here. Um, yeah, would you have any idea or any perception of how uh, the CNS class might differ from the like the Educate Together one? Um, well, I've never taught in an Educate right. Together in national school, but as far as I'm aware, they would be quite similar in that they're both multi D schools. But I think the one difference is that maybe they do segregate um, children in relation to um, re religious beliefs outside of school. I know they do run classes after school in the, in the evenings where they, you know, they take a group of Catholic children, Muslim right. children, all that. And I do think that that might cause, I would imagine, a little bit of segregation, you know, amongst the children in a class think, oh, he belongs to that group, she belongs to this other group. Whereas here, you know, all of the tuition is done during the school day. Um, you know, again, the children have the opportunity to share their experiences in terms of religious or secular beliefs. And um, then that, you know, that allows everyone to, I suppose, see each other's um, values and beliefs, but yeah. also to respect that. And, you know, OK, he thinks something different or she believes something different, but that's OK. Yeah. And, you know, to respect that. So I'd imagine that, you know, as part of being a CNS, that it is a bit more, um, you know, inclusive in that way. Yeah. Um, and do you see, you referenced GMGY there in terms of how, like, so GMGY, we just say it's like, it's the kind of nearly curricular expression of the ethos. Yeah. So it's kind of like how it's within a book, I suppose, what the ethos is. Yeah, is exactly. That, so how do you think GMGY supports you in living out that ethos? Yeah, so I suppose when I was thinking about this, I was thinking about maybe two strands in particular. So mm -hmm. the We Are a CNS one, first of all, um, you know, as since it come back in September we've done a lot of that strand so talking to the children about what a community national school is and talking to them about the ethos of the school and right. inclusion and equality and all of that and then that led into our student council elections um, more recently so I think that they that was a great opportunity you know again for um, allowing the children to speak and have their voice heard and also um, you know to give them the opportunity to make decisions in the school going forward and you know to have their voice heard by senior management as well yeah and then I suppose the other strand I was thinking about was beliefs and religions um, so obviously as part of that you know the children get to hear 
all about different types of religions and um, secular beliefs as well yeah. and what the practices are around certain